Hello world. Um I'm not sure if you guys have seen this video about Mormonism. Apparently it was banned by them. I'm not sure why, because if this felt like the religion, why are they banning their own cartoon to promote them? Maybe because it puts all of the facts, their beliefs, in a line of story that makes it look stupid. I'm sorry to if I invented any of you Mormons. Just, if this is a true video, this is probably like one of the weirdest religions I've ever seen. I'm just gonna stream some of it so you guys can get like a, a, a bit of it. Yes, and that is actually what they believe. That's the same thing I said to it when I first saw this video. Um, just gonna point key highlights if you guys don't want to watch the entire video is like six minutes long. Um, one, they say that black people are angels that didn't follow Jesus. Yes, black people are apparently fallen angels. It doesn't say racist. I don't know what does. Second, yes. Jesus went to the Native Americans in the be in like 100 AD earlier than that. And yes, the Romans were also there because there's actually a giant battle between them. And this all happened before they even made boats to sail that far. Okay, um if you're a Mormon, send me like a mail or something telling me if this video is true or not cuz I'm Guessing it probably isn't or is. Not sure 50 50 because I'm not a Mormon, so it might be true. I might not, it may not be true. Just comments or something. Contact me. Anyway, the reason the rest of the video is going to be well, the 10 things I hate, the 10 people I hate most in the world. Number one. Number 10, Miley Cyrus. No explanation. Number nine, Joe Wilson for being. A complete idiot and screaming, "You lie!" to Obama at the health, the health packet speech, and both Republicans and Democrats booed him for screaming that. And all Obama does is look at him like this. No, I don't. And that is why you make number nine, Joe Wilson. Number eight, Mike Huckabee for saying slavery equals abortion, or the other way around. And I know, Mike Huckabee, that you want to become president really badly, but that's not the way you do it. Because I think, like, like, uh, like one-fifth of the... One-fifth, <laughs> not one-fifth, but one-twentieth of the population believes in abortion strongly. And that is just not a really good way, since that's one-twentieth of what you get. Anywho, number seven, people who follow things blindly. No, I'm not talking about gullible, because gullible is just falling for something that's stupid. But falling thing blindly is like voting for somebody that you don't even know, but your friend's like, Dude, McCain is the best. You should vote for him. No. You should at least ask why. That's why the Holocaust happened. That's also why George Bush was elected in 2004. Also, number six. People who tell people to follow things blindly. No explanation needed. Five. Kim Jong the second. He's on number five because he threatens to kill America on a daily basis. And good thing is that he has pancreatic cancer, and that's something I wouldn't wish on anybody. But he threatens to he threatens to shoot missiles at us like every other week. So I could really care less if you die. I'm sorry. That makes me a bad person. So be it. Number four would be people who drive hybrids and acts really, really stuck up about it. it. I'm sorry I don't drive a hybrid because it seems like a really gay car. I don't want to be part of the solution, not the problem. If everybody drives hybrids, we won't need gas. Wrong. Because hybrid cars have like five horsepower. 
I go faster on a bike. It's pointless and stupid. Move along. Number three. George Lucas and Stephen King for ruining classes, classic movies just for some money. One example. Indiana Jones and, uh, and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. It was really bad compared to the old Indiana Jones movies. And I don't know why they remade it. Yes. That doesn't mean I, like, I don't like any of their other works. I just don't like that movie. Number two, people who have forced their views on others. Now, these people are so fucking annoying because they, cause they'll be like, oh, you're not Catholic? Oh, I'll just feed you down the Bible until you start believing in God and Jesus. And it's, that's not the way it was intended. Religion is. Religion is not intended for you to make people believe what you believe. Or politics. It's it's a personal choice. It's not it's not fair that you, that you criticize them or make fun of them for that. And number one, Republicans who still hate Obama. You don't have to agree with his policies, but you don't have to go on a march saying we don't support you. You shouldn't be president. Yes, if you march, if you did not march, almost six months ago, it would have been called for. Not even six months ago. Nine months ago, you did that march. It would have been okay, because nobody would care, because it would still be the presidential campaign. But no, he's elected. He's going to stay there for four years, unless he has sex with an intern like Clinton. I'm pretty sure he's not going to do that. So just get on board. Just help. If you don't believe in his plans, try to help help your representatives reform them. Don't go on a march that to say, we hate Obama. And that is basically what I meant to spoke my mind. Goodbye. Also, the Mormon video, link on the sidebar.